Hey, how's it going guys? This is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com here at Flash Memory Summit 2014. And uh, we're sitting here with Chris Geyser with uh, Samsung uh, Electronics America. Yep. And uh, he's going to talk about some cool new things happening with uh, Samsung. Uh, you know, upcoming topics as well as current topics. So we just came back from the Samsung SSD Global Summit uh, this year. You guys kind of shook the industry by releasing uh, a the first 3D NAND yeah. uh, based product, uh, which you know is already available for sale it is. right now, the A50 Pro. And uh, you know, earlier uh, this week, you guys also announced the first uh, three-bit MLC yep. 3D VNAND product. Yeah. So, um, you know, can you expand a little bit on that? Talk sure. a little bit about you know your future plans, your current plans with this. Uh, is it going into an SSD? You know what? Yeah. No. I mean, that's a it's a great start. You know, we're 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 obviously happy to be here at the Flash mm -hmm. Memory Summer. It's obviously beautiful day outside and uh, you know beautiful. we're yeah California. it's great <laughs> California's great and uh, you know thanks for coming over to Korea and uh, helping us launch the 850 Pro really got uh, great reviews on that thank you for uh, you know the great review that you gave the product and well, it was a great product yeah no know. and we're excited about it and we're obviously getting a lot of traction in the marketplace and uh, everybody seems to love the technology loves the product mm -hmm. you know gonna be great performance great uh, reliability and uh, it's a you know really a next generation product but that being said, we're never going to rest on our laurels, so we're constantly looking at what's the next great thing that we can come out with. And uh, clearly, you know, the the 3-bit the uh, 3D VNAND technology, uh, uh, the platform that we announced yesterday, we're going to be seeing that uh, populate through our roadmap, uh, you know, coming up in the second half of the year. Uh, obviously looking at uh, the launch of things like the X99 chipset and potentially looking at what we can do with NVMe and some of the, the new interfaces that's going to open up a whole new uh, really avenue of performance. I mean, you can see this uh, having tested a lot of SATA 3 products is that we're really, um, you know, outstripping the, the capabilities of the SATA 3 interface and mm -hmm. kind of bumping yep. up against that, uh, that, that, uh, that limit. And we're going to need new technologies mm -hmm. like NVMe to be able to really take the, the technology, uh, unlock it, remove that mm -hmm. bottleneck so that we can, we can achieve the next, uh, the next phase, of, phase of performance. Um, and so, you know, obviously uh, the new chipsets and uh, X99 and things like that are really going to help enable that market. Mm -hmm. And um, with your new 3-bit, uh, you know, TLC-based VNAND, yeah. uh, do you think we're going to see the same type of performance as we're going to see on on the 3-bit, uh, uh, the 2-bit uh, MLC VNAND? I mean, you know, ha having that, you you saw huge increases in ju uh, you know jumps in performance, yep. reliability, yeah. um, you know, compared to your 2-bit uh, planar technology. Are yeah. you going to see that same kind of jump when you go from uh, two, uh, you know, 3-bit planar? to three bit uh, sure. VNAND as well? Yeah, I mean, we've been getting really great performance results out of the uh, the product that we've been testing and sampling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, clearly, you know, in kind of the same way, it's it's got some of the same advantages uh, that the, the regular two bit uh, 3D technology had over the, the planar technology. Um, you know, better endurance, better performance, um, you know, those types of things. And so, you know, where the uh, the, the 850 Pro, if you look at the, the raw, you know, sort of endurance of the of the NAND on the on the chips, really has uh, almost SLC-like uh, in, in endurance mm -hmm. ca characteristics. Yep. Um, we're going to see the same thing when you move to uh, a three-bit uh, technology mm -hmm. on the uh, 3D NAND uh, that we're going to be coming out with later this year. So we expect that to kind of eliminate some of the concerns mm -hmm. that people have about, you know, the strength straight TLC technology, the straight 3-bit MLC technology, um, that's the really the only uh, disadvantage of that is the, mm. is the overall endurance of the product. You know, perfectly yeah. fine for consumers, but uh, you know, if you're putting it into an enterprise application, a server application, mm -hmm. you're going to run up against some limitations. So we're, uh, you know, we're excited that come, you know, mm -hmm. bringing that 3D technology on the on the 3-bit platform, you know, is going to give you kind of the best of both worlds. You're going to get some of the the cost advantages, the density advantages of moving to, um, you know, moving to that 3-bit technology, but but still get the better endurance that you get from moving to a 3D technology. So uh, we're excited about it. I mean, there's yeah. the, the 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 market's really uh, exploding, and you know you can see here at Flash Memory Summit, you've probably talked to a lot of really interesting manufacturers that yeah. are yeah. really coming out with really cool stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, you know that that helps the entire industry because the more that consumers really understand, you know what is uh, you know what can we do? How do we change that market? Mm -hmm. Because you know you've seen this the. Yeah. 
the CPU and the GPU and the memory performance has been just you know increasing exponentially yeah. year after mm -hmm. year after year. Nothing's been changing to really shake up the storage market, and this is the well, kind of technology state, yeah. that's going to do it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're excited about the future, mm -hmm. and we're we're going to obviously continue to invest and come out with really great technology. Okay. And uh, earlier you were talking about uh, PCIe, uh, NVMe. Yeah. Now I know you guys haven't announced anything on the consumer side, sure. But you do kind of have some stuff that you guys are providing to. So kind of your select uh, OEM customers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, is there anything you can expand on regarding well, that? Or? Yeah, no, I mean, I think what you'll see is that uh, Samsung, obviously, we're mm -hmm. in addition to selling really great consumer products, we're also, uh, uh, you know, very much uh, uh, supporting a lot of our, our larger OEM customers, um, you mm -hmm. know, the, the tier one PC manufacturers and things like that. And what you'll see is uh, coming out, uh, you already saw it sort of last year, you know, we mm -hmm. had the, the Sony Bio Z, which had a, 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 you know, a next generation platform. You could see greater than one gig kind of performance on that, the Samsung Series mm -hmm. 9, one of the high-end versions, had a really optimized uh, a storage subsystem. Um, some of the Apple products as well. You're going to see that uh, mm -hmm. move away from the OEM market into the branded market, so that we can mm -hmm. actually bring that technology out to consumers as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, we we, yeah. we see that that market kind of emerging as X99 comes out, as some of the the new chipsets, uh, new motherboards are, are supporting those standards. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to take that technology that, that previously was only available to OEM customers mm -hmm. and bring it over to the branded side as well. Cool. And uh, do you expect to see that uh, come out, you know, at the end of this year, or is that kind of something you're going to wait to see, you know, what happens with X99, and then kind of, you know, go from there? We're certainly, you know, what I, what I'll say is we're certainly going to support it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we don't, uh, uh, you know, we don't see a huge market for that today, uh, only because there's not a. They have motherboards mm -hmm. haven't been shipping yet that have really yeah. adopted mm -hmm. that. And so uh, we like to wait for the market to kind of develop and, and some of the kinks to, to, to get worked out, some mm -hmm. of the um, initial uh, production firmware releases and things like that to get stabilized mm -hmm. uh, uh, before we, we kind of move full phase into it and, and really adopt it as, a, uh, you know, as an ongoing standard. But you're going to see stuff from us mm -hmm. on, on uh, you know, M.2 and, and MSATA and, and uh, you know, uh, PCIe and, and NVMe mm -hmm. going yeah. forward as well. So look for a, you know, look for a strong roadmap. Uh, Samsung's committed to, to growing mm -hmm. the market and to increasing the number of applications for, for solid state technology. So uh, we'll be there and, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll continue to support it. And, uh, you know, you'll co come back, uh, come back to uh, you <laughs> Flash know, Memory Summit 2015. Flash Memory Summit, yeah, yeah, and you're going to see all these great new products okay. or, or maybe storage yeah. visions in January. You'll see some of these things as well. Excellent. Okay. Yep. I think that's all I have. So uh, do you have anything to add or? No, thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. And, okay. uh, and let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go build some PCs or something. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you guys, and uh, check back for more FMS 2014 coverage. Great.